Bill Mann is behind bars tonight for allegedly helping his mother commit suicide. And police say the plan was well thought out. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is live in Vacaville with new details tonight. Macy? Sam and Christina, the mother and son lived in this Vacaville neighborhood until about four months ago when the two were evicted. Tonight, we're learning new details about their relationship and what led up to the 69 year old woman's death. I was devastated. We both cried because we know the people, and that was a horrible story. Walter Edmondson talked to CBS 13 exclusively, revealing details about his former tenant, Eric Kapatinich. I'm not a doctor, of course, but he wasn't fully. Speedy. I mean, he wasn't. He was a little slow. 43-year-old Eric Kapatinich arrested on Friday, accused of helping his mother, Diane Kapatinich, commit suicide. The two rented a Vacaville house together until homeowner Edmondson served an eviction notice last August. The police showed up and the realtor and a group, the locksmith and all that, and when the sheriff came to the door, they said they could not move. Uh, because she was bedridden. Edmondson says he felt bad for the mother and son because they had no place to go. She wasn't really healthy. She looked like she was very frail. So he took it upon himself to help them move. Edmondson rented a truck, took them to Motel 6, and paid their first month's rent at a storage unit on Peabody Road. And I had suspicions that when I heard that, that she might even be living in the storage unit. I don't know. Three months later, Vacaville police found Diane's body inside of the unit with a gunshot wound to the head. Police say they found handwritten notes from both Eric and his mother that detail her desire to die and how the two would make it happen. I've been doing this job for over two decades and I've never, never seen anything remotely. Um, close to this kind of case. Edmondson says Eric seemed devoted to his mother and doesn't believe he would harm her. He didn't appear to be that way to me, although she was a very demanding person. She was very dependent on him, I mean, all day long. Kapatnich faces a charge of assisting a suicide, and if convicted, he could face up to three years in jail. All right, Macy, thanks. Uh, live for us tonight in Vacaville. More on this story. According to police, there is no evidence that Diane had a medical evaluation for the right to die drugs. So under the act that went into effect last year, what are the requirements for terminally ill patients to legally end their lives? Well, in order to receive end-of-life drugs, the patient must be over the age of 18, must have a prognosis of six months to live, and you have to be capable of making your own medical decisions. The patient must make one written and two verbal requests Two doctors have to sign off on that paperwork. And finally, the patient must be able to take the drug on their own.